Hello everybody and welcome to US Computer Solutions for another how-to tutorial. My name is Joey. Today I'll be showing you how to replace a battery off of an APC backup UPS XS1500. Now as you see over here that it is not charging or you might be experiencing a loud noise coming from the system itself and everything else that was connected to the UPS is disconnected or turned off now the reason is is the battery reached it, its capacity or expiry date and now it just doesn't want to work on the system anymore and that's normal I recommend every year and a half or every two years for you alone to replace the battery now the battery if you buy it from APC it will come in a pack two pack ready and set all you have to do is just plug it in and I'll show you that in a second or you can buy two batteries off of eBay connect them using this little plastic piece I'll show you right now if you can see it you can remove the tape off of this and using this piece over here it has two cables it will connect the two batteries together and of course the connector will be from this side over here and this will plug in so after you buy those two batteries off of eBay for example you can use this Part, don't throw the old battery away and it will just save you a few bucks if you buy them off of eBay but I'll keep a link in the description below um, and give you this battery over here because you can buy it off of um, Amazon and good price actually rather than buying two but normally they will be selling expensive but I found this off of Amazon and um, you guys can buy it off of there but there's two methods to connect this either this way you can buy it ready and just plug it in in the um, UPS system and it will give you another year year and a half or you can buy again two batteries use this piece don't throw the old battery away you just have to remove this tape as really they're really stuck in as you see it's really hard to get it removed but you gotta get them removed freely and use this part over here to connect them back again so let me show you how to replace it using this um, battery over here all right so first thing we are going to disconnect the system from the wall Make sure it's not connected well you don't want to get electrocuted and we are going to shut off the system and let go okay and now we're going to let the system lay on its back make sure there's nothing connected in the back of this machine also all right so there's two connectors holding it from below here for the cover to get popped out. So if you press those little connect thingies and here are the old batteries. Now these old batteries I connected them before. This is what I was talking about. So if you remove these and your only option is to buy two separate batteries you remove this little tape thing that holds them together The other side. And if you look closely over here, I don't know if you guys can see that, but let me zoom in. Yeah. These cables that are connected to these batteries, you connect the plus over here, and it immediately goes into the minus side, plus here. And over here and you keep them together when you get new ones all you have to do is remove this one bring another one in like for example like this this is the alternative method if you don't want to buy the other battery that comes but now the prices are good I used to buy these $20 a piece from PowerSonic also off of eBay and uh, just connect it uh, through the method that you guys saw keeping this plastic piece over here this plastic piece never throw it away because it will connect these batteries together so you can have dual uh, wattage uh, and they last long and this is of course how the system is set up so you guys don't need to tamper with it but as you see the model is PS1290 and it's a 12 volt 9 amp battery which lasts a good time one. and all I have to do is just plug it in and let's put back the case uh, covering the case covering all right and 
let's run a little test. Let's see if it's going to run without having it plugged into the wall. All right, so it's still saying zero, but that's a good sign that this has some power inside of it. Of course, it's new and it's not being charged or anything. But let's plug it in the wall and see if it's going to start charging. So now the immediate load of course is zero, it's not going to show any load because we have nothing plugged inside the UPS machine currently. We have it plugged in and now it is going to charge so after a few hours you're going to, you're going to see it rising up and it's going to start the, the charge, hopefully it will last you another year and a half. Now I'm going to just plug one thing inside of it and see if it has any little juice left in it. I know it's new, but it doesn't hurt to try. So if I unplug it from the power source, yep, it gave me just a few seconds, of course. It says four minutes. I have a computer and a PlayStation plugged in and a DVR. I know I don't have much stuff plugged inside of it, but this battery seems like it's working. Now you gotta give it a few hours to charge and hopefully it will get this issue with the error resolved. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, subscribe, and share, and uh, see you again next time. You guys, have a wonderful day.